بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الحبة في الله and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and guide you and forgive us and forgive you Amin ya Rabbil Alameen one of our brothers Ahad of Fudullah one of the students of knowledge may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him translated something very beneficial our brother Talib Alexander Hafidullah ta'ala he translated a very nice uh, beneficial faida which is beneficial for us to have knowledge about this issue which refers to a fatwa about that Sheikh Abdulaziz uh, uh, bin Baz rahmatullah was asked by Sheikh Abdulaziz as Sidlan, and he said what is the ruling on backbiting non-Muslims and Ahabatifillah we already know that backbiting ghibah and namima these types of activities are prohibited in Islam and have a severe punishment and are from some of the, saint, the major sins and the ulama of Islam make some istathna or some very few times when it is permissible to not carry evil but permissible to speak about others and this is in the case of speaking uh, and defending the religion against bid'ah and sinfulness or if uh, someone is going to marry someone else then it's permissible to uh, speak about their the condition of the person uh, that the knowledge is required to know about and also the situation of when it is between uh, there is uh, maslaha or there is benefit in making uh, peace between husband and wife in these times these cases it's permissible to intervene and speak about other individuals but other than that Islam is very strong about prohibiting this and the Prophet والسلام, said uh, when it, speaking about some of the people who are being punished in the graves he said uh, the Prophet وسلم, said and we'll give you just the part of the hadith which is relevant to our discussion he said and verily one of those people who's being punished in the graves is uh, being punished because they used to carry wicked uh, tales spread uh, namima, you know, wickedness uh, throughout the community. You know, basically speaking about someone uh, in a negative way in order to, to bring about uh, evil or spread wickedness and sinfulness throughout the community. And may Allah protect us and prevent us from doing that. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So, Sheikh Abdul Aziz. <coughs> bin Baz uh, was asked what is the ruling of backbiting non-Muslims Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz stopped momentarily then he said what is apparent from the Quranic verse and do not backbite each other this is a surah to Hujarat uh, verse 12 and the, prophet, and the prophet prophetic narration mentioning your brother about what he dislikes to be mentioned implies that non-Muslims are not backbitten. This is what is apparent to me. And disbelief is greater than backbiting. But if there is a benefit for uh, propagation, but accept that, then leaving it is safer. Meaning leaving off, do not backbite anyone. That this is safer to be uh, in, in, in this issue. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless us all with the Al Nafi Raskin Taibu Amin al Mutakabin and Wasallallahu Sallam Ala Nabi and Muhammad.